Baada ya kuangazia wadudu vipepeo ambao hufugwa kwa ajili ya umaridadi wake, hebu sasa tukiukiwa wadudu wanaofugwa kwa ajili ya faida yake kiafya kwa binadamu. Iwapo ulidhani wadudu hawa wanaofahamika kama panzi au nzige sawia na hawa wanaoitwa cricket ni wadudu tu, basi umenoa. Hiki ni chakula cha manufaa mno kwa mili yetu. About 500 species of insects are eaten in Africa in different communities. And we need to capture that kind of information and promote the health benefits associated with eating these uh, insects. They're perfectly healthy, they're free of microorganisms, and they have all the nutritional benefits that you can gain from eating beef. But more importantly, we can provide some of the solutions associated with health problems in the West from our traditional foods. Jamii nyingi katika magharibi mwa taifa letu huchanga mkia wadudu kama hawa na hivyo miradi kama hii imekumbatiwa na baadhi ya wakulima katika maeneo haya. What we are trying to do is that uh, to help people so that you don't have to go looking for the food when they are on season. We can be able to breed them so that they are there all the season. Aongera. Evans Obuya ni mkazi wa eneo hili la Kabondo na yeye pamoja na mama yake wamekuwa kwenye kilimo cha ufugaji wa wadudu kriketi kwa mwaka mmoja sasa. Mradi ambao unaweza kunufaisha jamii nyingi humu mashambani elimu waliojifunza kutoka chuo kikuu cha Bondo. Cricket uh, ni kuna protein mingi sa kwa mili. Tena inaweza tibu ya kansa. Si ati vya sana inaweza tibu kabisa but it reduces the cause of cancer. Evans anaonekana kuvutiwa na zoezi hili ambalo wengi huenda wakalichukulia kuwa la kuambulia patupu. To differentiate between a, a male and a female is that uh, the female has two tails and uh, a male has one tail. Shirika la chakula na kilimo duniani FAO linashauri kuwa wadudu hawa ni chanzo au chimbuko la protini ya hali ya juu ambayo inahitajika sana kwa jamii nyingi hasa katika maeneo ya mashambani. Ufugaji wa wadudu hawa huhitaji sehemu ndogo mno na pia ulishaji wake ni wa kiwango kidogo. They'll be assisting in lowering cholesterol level in the human beings and then help to prevent uh, heart diseases. And more so, other than those preventing heart diseases, we also have the anti-cancer property and antioxidant and also anti-inflammatory uh, conditions which those plant cereals play a greater role to benefits to human. Makasha haya yaliyo hapa yana zaidi ya wadudu elfu hamsini ambao pia hutaga mayai kila siku na hivyo idadi yake inaendelea kuongezeka. Wazazi wa kwanza walitolewa kutoka chuo cha Bondo na sasa wamekuwa wakiendelea kuzaa na kila siku. Kwa wale wanaotaka kuanzisha ufugaji wa panzi ya mzige, wataalamu wa taasisi ya ICP wana ushauri. The farmers can if they want to domesticate the desert locust, then they they should get uh, viable eggs which are good they're not infested and then the protocol is already established they can last with this for that type of rearing because at the moment we already have a running colony here Sinia hizi zimewekwa hapa ili kuwezesha mayai ya kriketi kuangua kwa utaratibu kwa wadudu nzige mayai yake hutagwa kwenye mchanga na kisha naanguliwa kwa muda wa majuma mawili These tubes are filled with the build a sad we clean that sad and then we sterilize it at least we make sure that it is not uh, it doesn't have a lot of problems eh? and then we put it here and then the females can be able to dig inside so that uh, after they dig inside uh, we can when we see that they have they have uh, laid then we can be able to to incubate them Lisha ya wadudu cricket ni majani kama vile sukuma wiki miongoni mwa vyakula vingine hivyo. And do you know that like uh, the locust when there is an invasion they even eat the bark of the trees. So if you want to breed them then you can use all kinds of vegetation. Kwa wadudu nzige lisha yao kuu huwa ni ngano. Ingawa tunafahamishwa kuwa wanaweza kula majani aina nyingine nyingi. Once after two weeks of uh, growing this then uh, two weeks it's enough now to cut the grass and we're able now to pack it and feed the insects. Now they also feed on uh, wheat bran. Now uh, after that now 
both the first instance from the first stage to the last stage, they feed on the same. The reason why we use wheat, uh, wheat here is because it is easier to grow within the center. But outside there, the insects can eat all kinds of vegetation. Chumba hiki cha cricket hiki mejengwa hivi kwamba, kitaweza kuwa na kiwango cha joto kina chota kiwa kwa takribani nyusi joto thalathini. Iwapo kuna joto jingi, wao hufungua mlango ili kuruhusu hewa baridi kupenya. Pala ke pia lina mabati ya noruhusu mangaza kuingia ndani. Wakati wa baridi, ukuta huu na karatasi nyeusi huwa hakikisha joto imesalia mumu humu. Wadudu hawa hukoma kwa mezi mitatu na kuwa tayari kwa kuvunwa. Wanapokoma, wanavunwa na kutharishwa kama anavyotueleza mkulima Evans. Immediately zile zilikuwa hatched, it inachukua three months. Three months, zimeshakuwa ready for harvesting. So harvesting period kishakuwa, you have to harvest them. One, lazima uwe na this improved chiko. Alafu unachemusha maji. Mayo maji lazima ya 100 degrees Celsius. Ili iwe moto zaidi kabisa. Ukishai kwa kichungu, certain siva, ambapo mefunika. Ambapo as wizards can fly because of that heat. Una, unaeka chiko maji. Iyo ile moto kwenye ile jiko yako. Na chukua daika ngapi? Mbili. After that, unazima uwe na time, una, una make sure hiyo imefika. Unatoa. Ukisha toa, unakuwa na maji yako baridi. Maji baridi pia una, uya, ili ya kupoesha. Unaeka hapo. Inachukua another two minutes. From that, unaweka kwa solar dryer. Solar dryer ni kitu hivi ime, ikuna black na something like that. Ukishaweka, hapo sasa inalingana na the demand ni watu walikuwa nataka kukula. But the shortest time is 25 minutes. Because of that, your place is very heat. Lafi na dehydrate yu maji raka. So, ata unaiza acha for the next day. Kama hapo, it is still fresh. It is ready, unaiza kula tu. Kamu ya nakula tome na unachukua ugali yako na kamu na kutengeneza nyanya na kachumbari yako. Wanatumbukizwa kwenye maji kwa kutumia kichungi hiki na kisha wanakaushwa kwa mtambo huu wa kukausha unotumia jua. Uhapa ni mlo kemke mwapanzi uliondali wa mara kwa mara kwenye hoteli hapa isipe. Unaweza kuwala wadudu hawa moja kwa moja au kachanganya na bidaa zingine kama vile unga. Mm. Cricket utumika na kila mtu. Kwa vile watu hawajui, unajua watu wanaenda kwa duka na wananunua tu kama kufuzo kwa mkate. Mpatie for example United or Superlof kwa kuwa ujua tu nakula cricket. <laughs> so is some of the ingredients. Unaona hata kwa kuna umeandikwa protein na kuna percentage yake. So this is one of the national proteins ambapo zinatoka kwa very delicious. Very, very delicious. Swala la umuhimu ni je, hiki ni kilimo ambacho kina mweleke wa siku za usoni, au sasa hivi ni vituwa vya utafiti peke, vinawe wanunulia wa kulima bidaa hii yao. Nazima wa Kenya wa kumbatia chakula kama hiki. You know, at the moment, the Ministry of Health and the body like the uh, Population Services International and the GAIN, they're actually working upon having to reduce the issue of uh, mineral deficiency and vitamins in Kenya. But I wish also we could go a step ahead, like what the U.S. are doing, to add the sterols to margarine and other things, so that they reduce the cholesterol which people are consuming. And to do that, if they can enforce uh, sterols in the fortified program, that will be another advantage because, you know, most people are consuming a lot of cholesterol unknowingly. So when you add phytosterol to your diet, which among the cheapest sources, we have the desert locust, which not only will it give you the sterols, but will give you the protein and other components, that will be another uh, advantage to an intuitive capacity in Kenya. Ni matumaini yetu kuwa tutaweza kujinufaisha na utalamu kama huu, ili kusaidia kupigana na changamoto za utapia mulo zinazo shuhudi wa humu nchini mwaka baadi ya mwingine.